Morning, Steve Fried in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, markets are down overnight following uh, the closes, week closes we had yesterday. I think yesterday and Sunday night, uh, some of the managed funds began to look at some of the extended weather outlooks. And without a severe weather problem, continuing through most of July and August, uh, they feel that there's just not enough demand to support prices where they were. And so we also last night went through a first level of uh, support in uh, beans, corn, and wheat, and now uh, we have a little bit of a negative technical picture. As far as the weather is concerned, in the next five days, the amounts of rain that we see across the Midwest will favor Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, and maybe northern Iowa. Um, and there'll also be a little bit of shower activity in southern Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio from the tropical depression but there, there's little rainfall elsewhere. The 6 to 10 day outlook has moderate amounts of rains continuing in the northern areas. The remainder of the region should be dry. The key is what happens after, let's say, July 25th, 26th. Um, it shows cooler temperatures for much of the Midwest as the ridge moves back uh, west and allow for some scattered showers across the Midwest. We also saw a slight improvement, one percentage point, of so the good to excellent category last night for corn and beans, and the market was expecting like a two to three percent decline. So you have a little bit of dueling going on between those that are in the worst areas, the latest crops, the driest areas, which includes Missouri, Iowa, and parts of Illinois, versus the rest of the Midwest that might see some improvement with these rain showers. So uh, the market uh, needs to be fed twice a day, uh, bullish weather, and we just don't have it to support prices right now. It will be hard for the market to break hard because number one, the farmer's not selling, and number two, you have those dry areas in the central part of the Midwest that doesn't seem like they're gonna get a lot of rain over the next week. Uh, when wheat harvest, 57% done. Uh, corn silking is 17 versus 59 last year and 42 average. The crop is rated 58% good to excellent versus 57 last week and 72 last year. Beans uh, rated 54 good to excellent versus 53 last week and 69 uh, last year. And uh, again, we're, it looks like we're, we're seeing um, the price is also trying to compete against global prices to pick up on the export demand. Our exports continue to be on the low side of what uh, the trade would like to see. Funds um, on Monday were sellers, 26,000 corn, seven beans, and one wheat. We continue to show them long 40 wheat, uh, long about 200 corn, and short about 28 beans. So again, uh, the market needs to have a little bit more bullish weather news to support prices or prices uh, are expected to continue to slip lower. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.